Hey everyone, I've been getting a lot of messages from people um, who are interested in purchasing a hard shell, but they're hesitant because they don't have a whole lot of space in the garage, or they um, are roommating um, with someone, they're renting a room from someone, um, or they live in an apartment, and they um, just automatically think, you know, I don't really have the storage space for it. Um, or some of you are concerned with uh, lifting it to put it on J-hooks. Um, so I want to just share with you a product that I bought from REI a few months back that I used to store my kayak. And as you can see, it is hoisted up to the ceiling. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. And I will show you the box that it came in. And I'm going to also bring it down for you and show you how to um, remove everything off of it as far as like the straps and the hooks go. And I'm also going to show you how to put everything back on and hoist it up to the ceiling. So i um, not going to make this intro too long. Hopefully you find this helpful and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's the box it came in. The brand is Delta. I got this at REI, it was $35. Um, I did find a similar one at Walmart about a week or two after I had purchased this one and put it up on the ceiling. So um, yeah, I it's definitely um, more affordable than the J-hooks that I was originally looking at. Those were about $85 to $90. So it has a little diagram on the back. Um, as you can see, it says here that the capacity is about 50 pounds. And you can see that. Um, I believe my kayak weighs about 34 pounds. Uh, so it still allows me some wiggle room to um, put my dry bag and my um, life vest, small things like that. I actually can just put inside my kayak and then just hoist everything up to the ceiling. So there are three parts that you will need to drill into the wall. You can see the two metal parts on the ceiling as well as this third part here that serves as a hook to hold the excess rope while the kayak is being stored. I usually put the rope in a figure eight position on this hook and I also have a rubber band or hair tie around the remaining excess rope. So right now we are just taking all of that excess rope off and taking the hair tie off the remaining bunch. So the way this pulley system works is very similar to the window blinds where you pull the cord downward from a vertical position to bring the blinds up and then you pull the cord from the side at a slight angle to bring them back down. So to bring the kayak down, we want to bring that rope in front of our boat and pull from the side slowly to bring everything down. So now the kayak is on the ground and all I'm going to be doing is removing both of the straps from the hooks taking them completely off of the boat. Um, you will see that there's a smaller rope that's connecting both of the straps there. That did not come with the kayak pulley system. That's just something that I had improvised and added in um, because I wanted to make sure um, that I didn't have to worry about the strap sliding off either end as I was pulling um, the kayak up, you know, and having one side uh, going higher than the other. So just kind of keeps everything a little bit more secure. And then again, um, just doing the reverse to put everything back on. And when we go to hoist it up to the ceiling, we're going to be stepping over to the right um, and just pulling uh, from a vertical position. So that's all there is to it. I hope that some of you found this helpful. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you all soon.